You know, we, 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 we thought we had sung everywhere there is to sing. We, uh, we had a chance one time to sing in Carnegie Hall. We, we, we sang in almost every country peaceful to our country around the world. And in almost every city, for instance, in Germany and Holland and Spain. We've, we've sang in every kind of church you could imagine in every kind of auditorium. And I, and I thought that if nothing else, we had seen about all the crowds. And here not too long ago, we sang in a church up above, well, I won't say up above where, because then I'm going to start pinpointing the church and might get myself in a little Dutch. But up in the mountains of Kentucky, we sang in a church unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. This church had been writing us to come there and sing, and our agents had told us, when you get in a hundred miles of there, go and sing. And we did. We pulled up in front of this church, and it was an old church. It was over a hundred years old. It had never even been painted. It had three drop lights inside. We had to run drop cords a half a mile to get to our amps to plug up. When we pulled up in the yard, I told the children here, I said, we're going to have ourselves a time tonight. I just knew that old church is going to be full of spirit. And it was, honey. It was. We went in there. We, after we sung about three songs, they were shouting all over that church. I've never seen so many people in one church shout. And in a little while, they shouted themselves right around in back of us. Three ladies and two men. Well, now, when we were hooking up, we saw some curtains or something laying over some boxes back there. We didn't pay any attention to it. Didn't know what was in there and didn't care. But in a little while, they came out around us with five of the biggest rattlesnakes I have ever laid my eyes on. I like to die. When... When the service was over, they told us that the biggest rattlesnake they had in that service was five feet long. Honey, the one they brought by me was 27 feet long. <laughs> they, they, and and let, let, let me say this. I'm not knocking these people. I promise you I'm not knocking them. I don't know if they're right or wrong, you know. I, I tell you, they, they claim that they, they read in the Bible where Moses had enough faith to take up the serpent. And some members of their congregation claim to have that much faith. And I'll tell you one thing I found out before I left there. They had a whole lot more faith than what I had. <laughs> that, now, now, this one woman stopped about two feet from where I was trying to pick and sing. I didn't even know what key I was in. <laughs> she, she took that rattlesnake with a head as big as your fist and held it up and stuck it right down in her face and shouted in its ear, if a rattlesnake's got an ear. <laughs> she wrapped that thing around her neck. She threw it down on the floor, kicked off her shoe, and put her bare foot on top of its head. When she throwed that thing down on the floor, <laughs> its tail missed my foot about that far. <laughs> I done a little shot myself. <laughs> and she thought I was in the spirit. <laughs> and brought me one up. But I saw right away that we had a house full of people and we didn't have but five rattlesnakes. And I want you folks to know one thing, there ain't a greedy bone in my body. I told them to give mine to Geraldine. You know, now, now I'm scared of rattlesnakes. These girls are scared of potato bugs. <laughs> it, 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 it hadn't even dawned on me that Dale's in the world. <laughs> and all at once, I, I remembered them. And we had already backed up as far as we could back. And I looked around at Jerry, and she was the color of cotton. <laughs> and I 
knew she was about 17 seconds from hitting the floor. She looked over there at me and said, what in the world are we gonna do? And I said, just take it easy. Don't panic. I said, just look around and find out where the back door is. She said, I already looked and there ain't none. I said, reckon, where do they want one? <laughs> As I went out the door, I told them where they could send my guitars and amps. <laughs> now, if you ever get a chance to go to church, where they take up the serpent. I want you to go. Sit on the back row, but go. I stood around and I mix and mingle with these people after service was over. I just couldn't leave. Man, I wanted to talk to these people. I wanted to hear more about them. I was interested in anybody got that kind of faith or whatever it is it takes to pick one of them up. I mean, a frog, I can see. And I was talking to the preacher back in the back of the church, and I was telling him, I said, well, I ain't no way I can knock you. He said, he said I, I hope you don't disapprove. And I said, ain't no way I can knock you, man. I said, ain't no way I can pick that thing up. I've seen them now, and I couldn't touch one of them. And this lady walked up to me. She said, Brother Wendy, you mean to tell me if the Lord commanded you to take up the serpent, you wouldn't take him up? I said, yes, ma'am, I surely would. But he didn't, and I ain't. <laughs>